Hi everyone, I'm Dominic Rocco. I'm gonna talk about ideal workloads for Snowpark on Snowflake. Now Snowpark is a new developer experience for Snowflake that allows you to write uh, different types of code on top of traditional SQL to run on Snowflake compute. So historically, Snowflake was really just an engine for SQL, but Snowpark broadens that to new types of coders. Now coders more familiar with Python or Scala or Java uh, can write in the language that they love on Snowflake. One of the first is machine learning applications. And so data scientists really uh, commonly use the Python language and develop machine learning models in that language. But then it comes time to run those models uh, as real applications. And Snowpark is a great platform either for developing those models or running them in production. There are also data intensive applications. These are real software applications that are more dynamic than a traditional data transformation. And, and it can be much more efficient to bring the code that runs those applications closer to the data using uh, Snowpark and, and writing uh, the code for the application to run right on Snowflake compute. But it also opens the door to using the rest of Snowflake's data cloud capabilities. And finally, there are complex transformations. So uh, data always needs to be transformed to go from uh, some raw form into something more refined. And most times you can do that with SQL, but sometimes it gets really complex to write certain operations in SQL. And that's a great time to use Snowpark Python uh, to compose more of those complex transformations as UDFs uh, or express them using functional programming. Uh, there are also a lot of other environments like DBT where you can incorporate Snowpark Python code right into your uh, workflows and pipelines. Uh, so you can have SQL and Snowpark Python running side by side uh, or chained together. And we've already had some good success with Snowpark uh, with our customers. One of our clients was working on an identity resolution algorithm, and this was part of their core business. We helped migrate that uh, legacy application, which was on uh, Spark and MapReduce, to run on Snowpark Python. Writing the code to run on Snowflake, where the data lives, made that uh, simpler. It was also a lot faster and cheaper for them to operate in the long term. But it also opened the door to them using the data cloud to distribute their application. So traditionally, this customer would need to uh, ingest their customer's data to process it or install their software on their customer's cloud in order to uh, run their application. With Snowpark, they're able to use the data cloud and data clean rooms uh, and eventually run as a native application on Snowpark uh, to make it so that they can process their customer's data without worrying that it's sensitive data uh, and getting their hands on it directly. We've also done work with uh, machine learning pipelines and one of our customers had a workflow that took 20 hours to run by exporting data from Snowflake, processing it through the machine learning algorithm written in Python, and then writing the results back to Snowflake. By moving that ML application to run within the Snowflake warehouses using Snowpark, the runtime was reduced to just 13 minutes. That's 100 times speed up in performance and runtime. And that's really important. If a 20 hour job fails and that job runs daily, you can't run it again that day, but a job that runs in 13 minutes will make sure that uh, even if it goes down for a bit, you can sort of re-trigger it and get your results before you finish pouring a cup of coffee. So that's a bit about Snowpark and how we're seeing success at PH Data and the ideal applications that you, we think you can apply. Uh, if you're curious to learn more, check out our What is Snowpark guide, and it lays out some of these details uh, in a lot more uh, detailed manner. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're always here to help at PH Data.